Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie Ferguson and you are watching Southern Crush at Home. If you are new here, welcome, welcome. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you can be informed every single time I put out one of these awesome videos. Uh, today's is no exception. We're going to make this Dollar Tree pizza pan into an awesome work of art using these paint pour paints. So listen, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, we are gonna take these really super fun acrylic pouring paints and put them all in a plastic cup. I'm trying to keep them all to the side as you see here, and I'm going from light to dark. And then I'm gonna create a little stand here with a couple of Dollar Tree cookie sheets, a couple of Dollar Tree flower pots, and then I put my pizza pan right on top. Now I'm using just a plain white acrylic pouring paint right here in the corner just to kind of get things started to make it kind of a, a more liquid pour and then i'm taking my dirty pour i think that's what we call it a dirty pour uh, mixture and pouring it right there isn't that satisfying oh my goodness and then you literally pick up the pizza pan tilt it swirl it work it girl work it make it look how you want it to um, i put these little cookie sheets here to catch the drips and of course i'm wearing some latex gloves to keep the um paint from getting all over me but I still got some right there on my arm because it's just a messy craft you guys I decided to add a little more of the bronze to this pizza pan here and um, slowly work it around now you can use this um, in any variation of all of the colors that you want in fact this pizza pan was so cute the way it turned out however funny story my daughter had put her little finger in it her little finger she's 19 she put her little finger in it while I was gone and letting it dry so this one ended up being my first one ever and my trial pizza pan paint pour. You can see how soothing it is, how it pours from one side to the other, and boom, I absolutely love it. But I decided to pour a second one since that first one got a little bit messed up. And this is just another view. You can see kind of how the paint pour goes. Again, we are sliding it from one side to the next. Isn't that just kind of like art therapy here absolutely love this mixed media pizza pan craft project now i'm letting you see all the different ways that i swirl this pan around i let the excess drip off the edges it is so fun and soothing to watch oddly um satisfying absolutely love this here's another view up close of all of the paint just dripping off the edges of this pizza pan in slow motion here goodness look at this look at this look at this I could do one of these every single day I think and never get bored you will never have the same exact pattern twice that is what is so amazing about this acrylic pouring technique Look at that baby blue with the turquoise and the royal blue and the bronze all together. Absolutely stunning down to the very last drop. Oh my 
Now I'm adding a little bit more of the pink because this pizza pan didn't get as much pink as that first one and I really like the contrast of the pink here. So I just dirty poured a little extra of the pink and blue together and if you notice, look at how it will swirl and take on its own life here. Now I'm going to take my heat gun and just give it a quick little once over to pop all of those bubbles. There should be a few little bubbles on the top um, and I'm just getting it a little bit drier. Now we're adding the resin. This is the two part resin. It's clear. I'm applying it with a popsicle stick or a craft stick and just making sure it's smooth and evenly distributed across the pizza pan. It took way more resin than I expected to cover this pizza pan, but it works. I wanted to make sure that I also got it up on the edges of the pizza pan as well. Of course, this has already dried for 24 hours, so I am touching the rim and everything um, else on here, but adding this clear resin is just gonna make it solidified so I can use this pizza pan for more than just art. We are gonna actually make it usable into a tray. So I added a couple of um, coordinating handles to the pizza pan. After I dry this for 24 hours, um, oh, well, let me back up. I went ahead and popped more bubbles with the heat gun, y'all. But I added the cute handles. Look at how it turns out. Absolutely in love with the design of this um, mixed media art acrylic painting pour project. Um, these two little arrow handles I grabbed at Hobby Lobby. I'll try to find some similar ones and link them in the comments below, but this turned out so adorable. Absolutely adore this acrylic painting technique. I hope to be able to do this again and share it with you again, maybe on a different um, surface, but I just added a couple of touches to this tray, um, like those little wooden feet that you saw to kind of make it rise up a little, but you can get super creative, use this however you want. If you wanna see projects like these come to life in real time, you're gonna to wanna to join my VIP group. I will put a link below in the description so you can find out all about it. I hope to see you there.